Welcome to this edition of What's in the Box? We have been given a new Rock Automation product to unbox, inspect, and test. So let's dive right in. Oh, okay. Whoa. What is this thing? It appears to be some type of sensor. Looks very durable, which we'll test later. Uh, let's take a quick look at the packaging. It says, Allen Bradley Rock Automation 871 FM Inductive Proximity Sensor. Wait, this is an inductive proximity sensor? These sensors are usually cylindrical in shape, like this 871TM. However, Rock Automation is introducing this small, compact, rectangular, all stainless steel as another option. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely. Let's power these flat packs up and see them in action. We are wired up and ready to go. Notice the bright green LED to show power. Now see how it changes to amber when sensing metal. And when the target starts to get out of the sensing range, the amber LED will flash as a warning that it is struggling to sense the target. As for wiring, each 871FM has complementary normally open and normally closed contacts along with auto PNP, NPN transistor outputs. This means that a single 871 FM part number replaces four part numbers. Not only does this simplify selection and reduce your stock, but it also removes concerns about having the correct discrete input card for your PLC. Oh wait, this is also an IO-Link enabled device, which makes it a smart sensor that you can get on your Ethernet network with an IO-Link master, for instant diagnostics and critical applications. This is huge. Let's highlight these smart features in more detail. Everything is going smart in our world because with information, we can make better decisions and react quicker. Being proactive instead of reactive. Industrial machines are going in the same direction. Smart machines allow manufacturers to leverage real-time data to increase productivity, improve quality, and optimize processes. IO-Link enabled devices such as this 871FM can help enable those smart machines by providing raw data and diagnostics from the plant floor. For instance, with the normal prox, we only get a discrete on-off signal. Now, with IO-Link, you can get local or remote notifications if this proximity sensor has been disconnected or if it is struggling to sense the target. Here's a list of other smart sensing capabilities with this sensor. You may need to pause the video at this point to see all these cool features. Each of these allow for easier installation, maintenance, and troubleshooting. Now that we know the sensor is smart, let's see how it holds up in harsh environments. A common problem with cylindrical proxies in welding environments is the weld slack can actually fall between the threads. When this happens, you can no longer adjust the prox, so you have to break it in order to get it out of its mount. This is not a problem for the 871FM. With its tough coat weld coating, this allows for the slag to roll right off. We wanted to create the harshest weld test we could think of. So we have large molten slag chunks drop right on the sensor. Notice each one rolls right off the face. These chunks would stick to a standard prox and destroy the sensor. Notice how the metal is cooling off from over 2000 degrees. And even after that kind of abuse, 
the 871 FM works fine. This is an amazing sensor. To recap, we have seen how versatile it can be covering a wide range of applications along with having smart capabilities. These smart features can be critical in diagnostics and preventive maintenance for high value applications with costly downtime implications. The sensor is very robust withstanding the weld slag it may face in the automotive industry or high pressure washdown in the food and beverage industry. If you would like to learn more about this sensor, check out the 871 FM application video or click the link and go straight to the product information page on ab.com. Thank you for viewing this episode of What's in the Box? box?